What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day today. We are back playing some Pokemon Sword and Shield. You guys already know the deal. Hopping onto that Ranked Double Ladder for Series 10. And ladies and gentlemen, we got ourselves a banger of a video today. Today, we are rocking out with Shadow Rider Calyrex for Series 10. So if you guys are hyped, make sure you support the channel by smashing that like button and clicking that big red subscribe button. Seriously, thank you guys so much for the support that has been going out across the channel. It really does blow my mind, so I thank everybody who supports me as a content creator. But if you guys want to catch extra content from me, your boy is streaming five plus days every single week over on Twitch. Head down link in the description below for my Twitch page. Plus, my name is right below my face cam. So search me, hit that follow button, turn on those notifications so you know when I go live. But getting started with this team in that top left corner, we have the one and only Shadow Rider Calyrex. One of the best Pokemon in Series 10, in my opinion. It's just all around great. It's speed stats great. It hits really hard. It is just phenomenal in every situation. He has Life Orb as his item. He gets two abilities as well. He's got the Grimming Nay, so every time he picks up a KO, he gets a uh, special attack boost. He also has Unnerved, so any other Pokemon on the field cannot eat berries. He's got that Life Orb, like I said, as his item, so he hits a lot harder with every single move. Then we got Astral Barrage, Expanding Force, and Shadow Ball, all heavy stab moves, and Protect as his final move. Right next to him, we got Urshifu, one of my favorite backhand Pokemons in all of this whole game. This whole game, this Pokemon is amazing. Every time I bring him in the back end, he's usually picking up a KO. He's usually clutching up for a team, so I love having him on my team. Unseen Fist, so he can hit through Protects. Focus Sash, so he doesn't get one tap. We got Wicked Blow, Close Combat, both for stab moves. Sucker Punch for first turn priority, and Protect as his last move. Middle left, we got Tapu Lele over here. Psychic Surge and Chewy Scarf, so he's going to be able to outspeed most Pokemon in every single battle. Psy Shock for Stab, Nature's Madness, Moonblast, Dazzle Gleam, all three fairy moves for Stab. And it's going to be able to pair well with that Calyrex, considering it can drop that Psychic Surge. We can bring a Calyrex in there, we get big Expanding Force off, and that is pretty much going to dump on most Pokemon in this game. Whimsicott is right next to Tapu Lele, great support mom for this team. We can set up Tailwinds to get speed rolling. We got Taunt for opposing Pokemon. Then we got Helping Hand for our ally Pokemon and Moonblast for its final hitting move. Rillaboom in that bottom left corner. Been using this Pokemon so much in Series 10, but like, who couldn't use this Pokemon? It is so good in this series and just rocks out in all situations. Grassy Surge has his ability, Assault Vest as his item, Grassy Guide for first turn priority in that Surge, Fake Out for flinches, Wood Hammer for big grass stab damage, and then our coverage move is High Horsepower. Final Pokemon is going to be Regilecki. I should say Choice Spec Regilecki because Choice Specs really makes Pokemon a big difference. Any Choice item, it really does change up the uh, how the play style with them, and it makes them a lot different of a Pokemon. We got Electro Ball for him, E Web for speed control, Thunderbolt for big stab damage, and Volt Switch to Pivot. Guys, if you want to try out the team for yourself, you already know the deal. Rental code is at the bottom of the screen, but let's get after it. Let's hop onto that Rank Double Ladder and look to get some wins with the Shadow Rider Calyrex team. First battle coming at you guys, going up against a Kyogre team alongside with Zapdos, Grimmsnarl, Talonflame for the Tailwind, Gudra, and Urshfu. Team's looking pretty strong. I think we can beat it. I think we can get after it that way. I'm definitely going to lead Whimscott because I really do want the speed on this team. Actually, we might just lead Regilecki here. I could lead Regilecki alongside with Calyrex. That could be really good for the squad. That could be really, really good for the squad. Let me see the speed on the Calyrex before we get rocking out with that. 222, that is, that is more than enough. That is more than enough, yo. We're going to lead the Regilecki alongside with Calyrex, bring in Urshfu in that back end, and then final Pokemon. I could go Lele, or I could go Rillaboom. It's really my choice here. Who do I want to go into? I kind of want to go into that Tapu Lele. I think Lele is just a little bit better in this situation, but at the same time, I think we're going to need Rillaboom in that back end. Hmm. You have a ground stab move, so but this could cover the Gudra. Yeah, I'm going to I'm going to go with Tapu Lele as my final Pokemon. But guys, we got some big news in the Pokemon community. Did you guys see that Pokemon Direct? Legends Arceus just got another trailer. You guys definitely have to let me know for question of the day what your thoughts are on that trailer. But dude, that game is going to be probably the best for the Switch. I cannot wait to play that game for you. Grind out videos, grind out streams. It is going to be crazy on this channel. So if you guys want to stay up to date, make sure you subscribe to this channel. But that game looks insane. It is legit Breath of the Wild, but Pokemon. I think it is going to be one of my favorite games of all time. Let me know your guys' thoughts in the comment section down below. It's just looking amazing. The open world, the way you catch Pokemon, the way you battle, the it's the replay value is going to be through the roof. It is going to be an insane game. I think it's been long overdue for the Pokemon company, but this is going to be it for Pokemon. It is going to be something crazy in my opinion. So cannot wait to see its final uh, gameplay on it and just get after it with that game. Because like I said, I'm going to be grinding that game like crazy. But he ends up leading Talonflame and Grimmsnarl. So I'm just going to e-web up on it. And then I think I'm just going to go into an Astral Barrage, man. Just drop a lovely little Astro Barrage. Right? Because that could be able to take out the Talonflame. 
And then I could get the Grimnay rocking out after that. Because I think he might be Sash. We'll see. Tailwind is going to pop out here. Lovely little Tailwind. Let's see what he does from here. And Light Screen is going to get popping. Which I'm totally fine with. Talonflame should go down here. No problem to both these moves. Even if it's Sash. But I could see having that, uh, what is it? That little Sharp Beak item. But E-Web comes out here. And now you actually soaked it up really well, that E-Web. Let's see if Astral Barrage can actually take out. It might not be able to. Let's see how this one plays out here. Astral Barrage is coming through here. Let's see, get it after it. He does have the light screen, like I said. And Astral Barrage does end up taking out the Town Flame. That is huge. We get a Grimnade boost, which is even bigger. And look how much damage we did over onto that Grimstone. Which is great. Which is great. We put that thing down to with the yellow bar. And I think we're chilling fine, even though he has a Tailwind up. I think we are chilling fine here. I think we are chilling just fine. Let's see. Urshfu is going to come out here. Come out and about. And I might just end up protecting the uh, the Shadow Rider. And just E-Webbing out. Right? I cannot protect him. Because he can just go for a Sucker Punch. Actually, I can. I can. Because he's just going to go for a Sucker Punch, right? Or I could just go for the Hard Swap into the Lele. To go into the lovely little Lele. I'm thinking about it. Jeans is thinking about it. Because then I do have that Choice Scar. Hmm. Just genius want to do here. I kind of want to keep my Shadow Rider here. So we are going to swap it to the Lele. I don't want him to just drop a hard Sucker Punch here and take me out. So, Calyrex, let's strip back here. And let's see what he does. Hopefully he goes for that Sucker Punch. Or is he just going to go for that Wicked Flow? Let's see how this one plays out here. Psychic Surge is popping. We had the save for Calyrex here. We're looking for a win in this battle. But, dude, just so excited for the two new Pokemon games coming out. It's going to be amazing. There's that Sucker Punch. I could have just dropped the Protect. That could have worked out in our favor. And then I could have been able to outspeed from here, but we we're thriving here. We we're thriving here. Another E-Web should be able to take out the Grimmsnarl. And I could just go into a Dazzling Gleam and finish off both these Pokemon. We are sitting really well here. Spirit Break comes through here. And who's that going after? That's going after uh, Regilecki, which is totally fine. Regilecki should still be fast on the field. He's not going to do as much damage as he did. But now we can just E-Web and take the Speed Control once again. So our Choice Scarf is a great move. Um, Let's just drop a Moonblast. Actually, no. Dazzling Gleam should be able to pick up the Double KO. But we are choicing, so I definitely want to choice to a Moonblast. That's what I'm doing. I'm choice scarfing into a Moonblast here. I think we should be fine here. Sucker Punch comes through here. Protected by the Psychic Terrain. You silly goose. And a wave comes through. And we're, yo, this guy just double messed up, bro. Awful plays by him. These are Master Ball battles, man. You're going to go double Psychic Terrain? That's something I would have done like a couple months ago. I still do it from time to time, but never double. You guys never see me go double moves like that. <laughs> That's bad. That is bad. Moonblast flies through. That's going to pick up the K. This guy's going to cancel. We're going to get the sweep here. We're going to go 4-0 with this guy. Unless he brings out Kyogre. And he goes into that tailwind and just starts ripping us up. But we shall see how this one plays out. We're totally fine here because I do have the Urshfu. Or not the Urshfu. The, uh... No, I do not. I thought I had the uh, the real boom in the back. And he didn't even bring him. That's GG's, yo. Moonblast is going to be able to just put this one down. The good thing I ended up bringing uh, this top Lele. Good thing I ended up bringing the top of Lele, but battle is canceled. We get a clean sweep in battle number one. We can hop into our second and look to go back to back. Time to go back to back, ladies and gentlemen. We're going up against a Ho-Oh team alongside with Galarian Zapdos, Draco Fish, Grim Snarl, Storm Drain Gastron, and Amoongus. Okay, trying to think of how I should go into this one. I could go Lele into... Ooh, I could go Lele into Shadow Rider Calyx. Or I can protect, get off Tailwind, and just eject button out after that and bring in a Lele. I'm digging out. Let's go Calyrex, Lele, Whimsicott as a lead, and then final Pokemon. Hmm. I'm trying to think. Probably Rillaboom. I don't know. I really want Rillaboom, but at the same time, it's like, I want this Regilecki. But I think Rillaboom is going to be better all around, in my opinion. Yeah, I'm with it. For now, dude, Regilecki is just so good. We're going to bring Regilecki. But my only problem with bringing Regilecki is, say it comes down to like a 1v1 situation with him and Gastrodon. And we can't do anything. But I just don't see him bringing Gastron. We have no water Pokemon. So I think we bring him. I think we go Regilecki and we just bring the same squad. Just different order. Let's rip it up. Let's get it, guys. But I cannot stop thinking about that trailer for Legends Arceus. Like, dude, everything about it looks so perfect. The flying on the Braviary. The swimming or, uh, what is it? Riding on the back of the swimming second stage of Basculin. The new form. It looks amazing. And then you can ride on the Stoutland second stage. It's just crazy. And the thing about it is that Braviary second or that form of Braviary looks like a boss in Breath of the Wild. It just looks like a boss in any of the Legend of Zelda games. It looks so good. I cannot wait to play that game. It's going to be, I'm telling you, it is going to be one of the best games 
ever, like, ever made for right now. Because my favorite game ever is uh, Breath of the Wild. It's Breath of the Wild. I think that is the best, one of the best games out there. But I cannot wait to play that. Include Pokemon and Breath of the Wild is going to be insane. Considering one of my other favorite games is Diamond and Pearl. Because it just has so much nostalgia factor for me. So Pokemon's always been one of my favorite games. Breath of the Wild is one of my favorite games. Combine them two. We might have a new favorite game for Jeans. Just cannot wait to play it. Cannot wait to do it. But I'm just going to set up a Tailwind here. He can fake me out, but I'm just going to... Uh, I might just protect here. I think I'm just going to protect here. Maybe I shouldn't because he might just fake me out. Let's see how this one plays out. He might just fake out my uh, Wimscott. Nope, he does not. So Tailwind is out and about. If he hits me up here, then that's totally fine. I can just go into an eject button. Cracker Punch comes through. Going to fail. u turn is going to come out here. And the best part about this is... He can go for another Sucker, sucker Punch here. But we are just hard swapping. We are just hard swapping into the Lele. So first turn priority moves will not work in this Surge. And I can just drop a huge old Expanding Force. I could, but I could go into an Astro Bronze. What do I really want to do? I think Expanding Force will be better for us. Let's do it. Let's rock it. Let's say AO Bird. Get out of my face. So, Circuit Punch won't work here. This is going to be awesome. We're going to be able to drop this big old Expanding Force. Take out this bird, no problem. Because we 100% outspeeding the Tailwind now. So, there's that lovely Psychic Surge. And then we still have that beautiful Wind Sky in the back end in case we need to set up a Tailwind later in the match. And we didn't even use our Eject Button, which is huge. He's going to end up hard swapping uh, Galarian Zapdos. And he's going to go into Ho uh Oh. Okay. I dig it. Expanded Force is going to pop through here. No effect onto the Grimmsnarl. But we're going to see how much damage we can actually end up popping on onto this uh, ho oh. Not bad, yo. We bring it down to half. And we should be rocking out from here. Spirit Break is going to fly through here. And we should be able to eat that up fine. But a special attack drop is out and about. So I'm thinking Lele should outspeed with his choice uh, Scarf. So I might go into a Gleam. I don't want to go into a Gleam. But at the same time, I could go into a Moonblast. This Jeans want to do here. Good moon blast just drop an astral barrage. Hmm. What does Jeans want to do? What does Jeans want to do? I said we just go for an astral barrage just so we can make sure we take out that Grim Snarl and maybe get a Grim Nade boost after that. Let's see. Light screen is going to pop. So that's a huge light screen for him. That is a huge light screen for him. I got to give it to him. Big old light screen for him. Moonblast is going to fly through here. Top of Lele is the fastest with that scarf. And how much damage are we going to do with this thing? Decent amount of damage. I think an Astral Barrage should be able to uh, pick up the KO here. It's going to be close. We are minus one. There is a Light Screen out and about. So let's see how this one plays out. Give it to me. Nope. No KO. That's rough news. We do need to get a KO with this. We need a big old KO. Sacred Fire is flying through here. And Calyrex goes down, man. That's rough news. Calyrex drops down. So we still have our... Uh, Still have a Regilecki here, so I'm definitely going to bring him out and choice spec him up. Definitely choice spec up the boy. I would love to have Urshfu here. I would love to have Urshfu right now. Urshfu is just great all around. But in this case, I can just drop a lovely little Moonblast. Take you out. Pick up the free KO. And I could go... What do I... What do I tee off into? Here? I know he has the bird. I don't know who his final Pokemon is. I'm still just going to do this. That's going to be my player. I know he has the Galarian Zapdos, which I'm totally fine with. That's just easy KOs for us. He's going to withdraw. And is this going to be the Gastrodon? Is this going to be the Gastrodon? It is going to be the Gastrodon, dude. I was not expecting him to bring that. So, Tapu Lele's got to start focusing in on uh, what's called... Tapu Lele's got to start focusing in on the Gastrodon. And then my Regilecki can just start one-tapping that left side. So, Regenerator ability is going to come out for Ho-Oh. I really do think he has that. But I think we should be fine here. We have two choice Pokemon out here, but we're choosing some fine moves. I don't think he has no Alice, which is... I don't think he has none of that stuff up his sleeve. He's going to bring back out Ho-Oh with a big old HP boost. And we're just going to drop this Moonblast over into you. And go for that big old Thunderbolt into the Ho-Oh. Let's get after it. We should still have speed, no problem. I don't think Tailwind really matters here. Let's see how this one plays out here. Ho-Oh is going to end up protecting. That's totally fine by me. And he's just going to try to get after this uh, Regilecki. Which is tough. If he takes him out, that's going to be GG's. That's tough news because he probably is going to go for an Earth Power. Probably is trying to rock an Earth Power on me. Give me a special attack drop. No special attack drop. Earth Power coming out here. And of course he brings that Gash on. Oh, when he goes into the Lele. Is he predicting an ally switch there? Is he predicting an ally switch? 
So I'm gonna go for another Moon Blast. I could go for another Thunderbolt. Yeah, we're gonna go for another Thunderbolt. We have to just start getting rid of these Pokemon. If I can get rid of this thing, that means we'll have Blade Light and Whimsicott, which are both super effective towards that, uh, towards that, uh, Glaring Zapdos. So that's a huge KO for us. So we get rid of the Ho-Oh, and we're just gonna throw a Moon Blast over onto this slot. Can we get the special attack drop? That'll be huge for us. Did he try to predict an ally switch? Here comes our Earth Power again. I think he's gonna go after Regilecki this time. Can we eat? Probably not. Nope, no shot. No shot we're eating there. He does have that Gastron, and he has the burn. I think he was predicting an Alice or so. Take that all day. We'll take that all day. So no more Surge out and about. We still have our Jack Button, but a Jack Button won't do anything. And we're going to come out with you. I don't think we need speed here. I think both my Pokemon outspeed regardless, so I don't want to waste a turn in the Tailwind. And how can I play this one? What should I do? I could taunt up on Gastron. But he doesn't recover. It could be played. Because I think a Moon Blast should be able to pick up an easy KO onto this Pokemon here. And I think I am just going to taunt onto this thing, just so it doesn't recover. It's going to be my player. Taunt's going to come out here. We just cannot afford that thing recovering up again HP, and we got to hope for some big damage coming out here from the Lele. Let's see how this one does. Come on. Tell him to go home. Eat up, baby. Tell him to go home. Oh, man, dude. We should double down. Show me recover coming out from here. Brave Bird flying here. And Whimscott done. Whimscott done. Oh, no. You go after Lele, and Lele's done, man. Okay. Is he going for recover? Show me he's going for recover. He was going for recover, so great taunt by me. Yo, this one's going to be super close. This one is going to be super close. Now, do we think the bird's protecting? Do we think the bird is going to protect? I honestly think the bird's going to protect. But at the same time, I think we need to go after it. But I make the hard read. We did make a good read on the recover. But he could just be going for a brave bird. I'm going to lock in on him. Hopefully he doesn't protect. We, we need him not to protect. He's going to attack. Should have read it, man. Need to attack that Gastro. Need to attack that Gastro. Yo, I was even thinking. I was like, yo, we read the recover. Maybe we can read this one, too. He ends up going for an EP. EP brings us down below half, so that's not looking good for us. He gets a crit, so wait a minute. Hold up. Wait a minute. That only ain't over yet. This is a close one. This is a really good one. But of course he brings that Gastro. Of course he brings that Gastron. I was not expecting Gastron to come in this battle. Not one bit. It's like, we have no water Pokemon. There's really no point for him to bring it. But yeah, man, dude. We totally should have went after that Gastron last turn. We would have had a chance for special attack chop. We would have did some damage onto it. Here comes another Earth Power. We should be able to eat this one because the last one was crit. So we are able to eat this one. So what we need to do is get like a crit here. Have him miss and maybe get another crit because Wimscott is not hitting hard at all. And there goes his taunt. He might just recover from this point. We do outspeed. And I don't see him recovering right now. I just see him trying to get after me. Let's see how this one plays out. Protect comes out here. This guy's just taunting with me. He's just, he's just touring with me. Yo, get this dude out of here. Get this dude out of here. But solid second battle. Did not end up picking up the win. We're definitely going to lose here. But we, we can hop to our third and final. And look for that winning record for today's video. Which is great all around. But yo, dang gash on. Oh, and he had this light screen this whole time. Get this light screen this whole time. I totally forgot about that thing. So we actually would have taken out the uh, Zapdos without the light screen, in my opinion. Here goes our lovely Moonblast. And also damage. Give me that special attack drop. He did. Show me. He misses. He misses. Nope. EP coming out here. That's GG's. 21 damage. That's light work for him. Light work all day. GG's. He ends up taking that second battle. Let's hop into our third and grab ourselves that winning record for today's video. Third and final battle coming at you guys. We are going up against a Kyogre team right now. Alongside with Raichu, which probably has Lightning Rod, so I gotta watch out with that. The Serene over here, which has Queenly Majesty. So first turn priority moves are not gonna be working when that thing's on the field. Gotta watch out for that. Also gotta watch out for that Moltres. And then he has the Volcarona and Tornadus in the back end. Okay, so we can totally lead the uh, Tornadus alongside with the uh, with the Kyogre. That could be a problem for us. So I might just want to lead Rillaboom. I'm not going to bring Regilecki just to kind of pose a threat onto that, uh, onto that, uh, what's it called? That Kyogre. And I think I'm going to lead the Lele. I'm not even going to lie. I think I'm going to lead the Lele just to block first turn priority, like fake outs or something along those lines. So we can see how that goes. Actually, hmm. We're not going to do that. We're going to bring Wimscott. We're going to need some speed here. We're going to Wimscott and Rillaboom in the first turn. Urshfu and I think Calyrex in the back end. 
I'm really liking that. Let's rock out. Let's grab ourselves a win here. Let's grab ourselves that winning record. But, dude, it's always tough going up against Kyogre teams. They're just great all around. They're very, very strong and tough to play up against. So let's see how this one happens. I was going to bring in the Lele just to uh, stop fakeouts from coming out, but I think we should be fine. I think we should be fine with uh, this Rillaboom and Wimscott lead. So let's see how he's going to lead. He's going to go Raichu and the Moltres. So got to watch out for that fake out. Fake out is definitely an option here. We are going these two bad boys, and that is a little tough for us. That is a little tough for us, but I can go into a nice little high horsepower into a Tailwind. That is a possibility for Jeans. A lovely little possibility for Jeans. So I am going to fake out onto... I mean, he might fake me out. Let's see how this one goes. I'm going to fake out the Raichu, and I am going to go for a Tailwind. Let's see how this one goes. I think he's going to be able to get off and fake out here. I probably should have faked out the Moltres, just in case he fakes out my... My Whimsicott. Yeah, I should have totally faked out the Moltres, but let's see how this one plays out. Let's see how this one plays out. I might protect the Moltres. You never know. Let's see. If he fakes out my Whimsicott and takes me out with like an Air Slash, then we're sitting in a rough spot. Fake out comes out here. And he's going to go out for a little bit. Okay, so that's totally fine by me. We're going to be able to get off a lovely little Tailwind here. And I wonder who he's going to go after. Whoever he goes after, I'm going to be able to eat. Except for maybe, maybe not Wimscott, but Rillaboom has that Soul Fest, which is huge. We are able to eat, so that is huge for us. We have Tailwind out and about, and I can drop a nice big old high horsepower here. Nice big old high horsepower here, and I can go for a special attack drop if I really want to. So high horsepower going to come out here, and I'm just going to go for the Moon Blast. Get that super effective shot onto that thing. Might proc his Berserk, but might get a special attack drop, which could cancel it out. Let's see how this one plays out. Let's see a Protect coming out from the Moltres, maybe. Or even the Raichu. But we have super effective moves coming from either side. And we have speed advantage 100% from that Tailwind. But I am liking where we're sitting so far. I might need that Robin for later. Mm. I don't know. Might want to swap that Robin Just to have that Grassy Surge ready to go for that Kyogre. Because we know he has to have that Kyogre, right? Let's see. So we might want get to get rid of him next turn. Unless he, get, he gets taken out here. Gonna end up with on the Moltres, and he's gonna end up going into who? Volcarona's gonna come out here. That's totally fine by me. I think we're gonna see a Sash come out from the Raichu. That's definitely a possibility. Moonblast's gonna fly through here. Can we get that drop onto him? Can we get it? Give me a special attack drop. Give it to me. Oh, we got it. Yes, sir. Yo, that's huge. That's huge. High horsepower comes through here. Either gonna take it out or bring down the Sash. Not even bring it down to Sash, dude. I'm guessing this thing did have Sash anyway. He's gonna end up nuzzling on me, and I'm actually cool with that turn. Considering I had decent HP, um, it should be decent here. Um, I should probably swap. What should I do here? I might swap the Robin. I think I'm gonna swap the Robin. Just have it in that back end. I can totally see final Pokemon being uh being the Urshifu. Or not the Urshifu, being the Kyogre. I'm gonna swap in the Calyrex here, and then. I think we're just going to see a Heat Wave, and I might just, uh, I might keep this Raichu alive just for, just for that Grim Nade boost. How many turns left in Tailwind do we have? Two. I think I have to keep him, I, I think I have to keep that thing alive. Just for that. Um, I could taunt, I could move by I'm just going to move by because we're going to see a Heat Wave. I'm going to see if I can get off another special attack drop. He's going to end up Witch on the Raichu, so that's huge for us. He's going to go into Moltres onto that left slot. That's totally fine by me, I'm cool with it. And we're going to end up withdrawing the Rillaboom. It's great. He's predicting double KO, so we want to swap out a Pokemon right here, right now. I'm cool with all this. So he's going for the Heat Wave. We know that for a fact. Maybe we can get that special attack drop. It'll be big for us. Our nerves out and about. And we'll see how this turn plays out. So Moon Blast comes through. And give me another special attack drop. Be my friend. Be my friend. Nope. Only get one. And he's going to drop an Overheat. Probably on the Whimscott, right? No, on the Calyx. Oh, gotta love it. Gotta love it. Out of love. So now we still have Rillaboom. That thing's special attack drop is out, out the picture, dude. It's minus three. It's minus three on special attack. He's really not doing a lot of damage. I thought a heat wave was going to come through. I'm cool with that turn. I could drop an Astral Barrage, which could be big for us. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to go... Well, I could go into a... Uh, Astral Barrage going to be the call? Yeah. I'm going to go Astral Barrage into a Moon Blast. Double down onto this Moltres slot and see how this one plays out. Let's see how this lovely little turn plays out. It's a good battle. Solid battle here. Anyone protecting? No protects comes out. Astral Barrage is flying through here. We do have speed advantage, which is great all around for us. 
And Astro Barrage almost takes out the Volcarona. Almost takes out the Volcarona. That could have been big for us. And maybe Moonblast can take out the Moltres before it procs the Berserk. Let's see it. Make it happen. Make it happen. Let's go, baby. Let's get it. Moltres, get out my game. Little Whimscott, little Cotton Ball is going to take you out. Struggle Ball is going to come out here. Yo, we are totally fine here. Totally fine, yo. Look at that. Look at that. Get out of my face, dude. It's a special attack drop. But that's really the big play for it. I'm going to be able to get a special attack boost after another Astro Barrage onto the Volcarona. And eject button pops out here. So I'm just going to throw in my Urshifu. Have that Roll Boom in the back because I think the Surge is going to end very, very soon. So if he brings out Kyogre, we just want to bring out our, our Roll Boom at the right time in order for us to pick up a win. I know we are paralyzed, so that can end up biting us. But we'll see how this one plays out. Because we know for a fact our, uh, our what's called is the fastest on the field, our Kalax. 222? No one's really outspeeding that. No one's outspeeding that, especially any Pokemon that he has. But let's see if his final Pokemon is Kyogre. I had to guess it is. Or he might throw it back out Raichu. He's going to throw it back out Raichu. Raichu is going to come back out here, and his only option really is to fake out on... Oh, yo, this is light work. This is easy double KO. Look at the HP on him. He totally outspeed, and he cannot fake me out because I am... Ghost. I'm a ghosty boy. I'm just gonna protect this turn. Just so we can keep her focus, Ash. I can definitely see a fake out coming into my Urshfu slot, but more importantly, I think it's gonna I think it's gonna cancel. I really do. Look at this, yo, double KO, we're gonna get double grenade boost. That's gonna be over. It's gonna be over. We're gonna go plus one because we are minus one right now in special attack. Fake out is coming out here, so we make the right call. And Astro Barrage, the little ghosties are coming out here right now. Look at them little ghosty boys. Send them. Both of you guys, do me a favor. Get out of my game. Get out of my game. This is my game. This is my lobby. This is my battle. Get him out of here. Get out of my face. <laughs> Dominating right now. Got the final Pokemon coming out here. And do we still have everybody? We still have everybody on our team. We swept the first battle. We lost the second battle because of the dang guy shot. And this one, we're looking to sweep again. We are looking to sweep again. We have two Pokemon that are probably faster than any Pokemon he throws out. So I think, I think we might get a sweep. He might. I don't really want to jinx it. It's got to be Kyogre, right? Kyogre is going to come out here. I had that roll boom in the back end. Saved him for the perfect time, which is awesome. And this one is a wash. For sure, it's a wash. But I want to get the sweep. Maybe he cancels for the sweep. But Astro Barrage. Yeah, Astro Barrage is going to be a strongest move. And we could just sucker punch. But let me check out this uh, thing's speed. I think Kyogre is probably like around 140. So this thing's speed is 163. I think we aren't going to outspeed. I really don't want to just go for a Sucker Punch. But I am going to go for a Sucker Punch. In this case. Because I really want that sweep. So I'm a Sucker Punch here. I'm going to get off some damage. And Astro Rod should be able to clean this one up. As it's plus one. Let's do it. Give me the sweep. Two sweeps in one, one video. Can we do it? Show it to me. Let's go, baby. Let's get it, yo. Two wins, two sweeps, one loss for today's video. Absolutely dominated and showed off this Calyrex team to its fullest potential. Hey, yo, we brought out the brooms in today's video. Got two clean sweeps with our team. Went 4-0 in both of our victories. Ended up losing one battle. We were just out there mopping the floors. Getting rid of these chumps out of our Master Ball tier. But we had ourselves a great video. But, guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread a positive day. And I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace out, everybody.